Hello guys, Bricklicker, and today we've got a review of the Lego Marvel, the Goat Ball, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not subscribe as well as turn notifications and like the video, but let's get into it. So today we have a review of the Lego Goat Ball, this one being one of the four Love and Thunder sets. You can see on the box artwork we have the Infinity Saga branding going down the side. We also have the goat shown off at the front. Five of the minifigures, all of which are included in the set, shown off at the front, which I'll get onto in a moment. Two of the Marvel characters on the side of the box, and then you can see some great artwork showing off the goat boat. The same continues onto the back of the box. You can see a rear view of the boat. Also, some of the play features on how it can open up. Also, the logo for the film and the Lego fight versions of the characters shown on the front and also some of the characters fighting on the front. Some great artwork. And in terms of sticker sheets, just one for this set, but quite a few stickers given its size. There's also this plate not included in any bags. And then also in terms of bags, there's six bags included in the set, which feels quite a lot as you're constantly opening new bags given so many little pieces are included in each bag, which is annoying. In terms of manuals, just one. And you can see at the front how the six steps make up the build. And there's no brand new sets advertised in the back sadly just to look at the finished product and the first minifigure is for this one being a great looking minifigure you can see some of the torso and leg printing and then you can also see no arm printing but that isn't needed for this figure there's also a red cape the hairpiece is in a dark sandy color the first print is a new at all we've seen it quite a lot in the four minifigures you have that smiling expression on the back it looks really good though when you add it with the hairpiece and that red cape looks good with it and there's some torso printing also continued onto the back and then we move on to the second minifigure Figure, this one being Jane Foster or Lady 4 continuing with the great torso and leg printing and you can see no arm printing again and also a red cape so that all the figures have really good quality printing and there is that brand new head and hair combo which I got into in a moment and in terms of the face printing it's not a brand new face print one we've seen for Black Widow before which is a little bit annoying it's going to be inaccurate but as you can turn it around there's kind of a displeased look and then if you lift up the cape there is torso printing continued onto the back but I think what a lot of people will be excited for this figure for is the brand new hair and hat combo you can see it's the metal helmet and then the blonde hair molded in it works really well there is a little bit of printing on the top of the helmet as well and i think when you add it to the figure it gives a really accurate look to what we're going to be seeing in the film you do have to line it up just right so you get it right like with the batman figure with the cowl but then we move on to the villain minifigure this one i feel like it's the worst minifigure of the five just because the others are so good so there is some torso printing which continues up to the head as well you can see that looks okay it is pretty detailed also continued onto the back and up to the head as well not a bad figure by any means just the weakest given the others are so good like i say but not a bad one to have and then we move on to a brand new version of Valkyrie. this one probably the best version which we got so far for this figure i think that it's a really good looking one also with that brand new hairpiece and a blue cape going onto the back that torso printing just works so well how it flows into the legs and as i said before there is a brand new hairpiece you can see how it has some brand new braid molds to make it so accurate to the character and when you actually add it back onto the figure it does make a really accurate one there is a displeased look on the back and continued torso printing onto the back which is nice that all these figures have that 360 degree torso printing but i think just when you add the hairpiece it gives the most accurate version of our cry we've had so far a lot of people will be excited to pick this one up and then we move on to our second version of korg this one a lot of people will also be excited about there is a lot to be excited about with this set so there's some torso printing which flows really well into the legs and there's that kind of uh, coat around the neck, really, some fur. The face print and head mold are the same one we saw in last year's new Asgard, but nonetheless, it is a really detailed face mold, and it also continues onto the back with kind of a bit of an angry look. You can see the torso printing also continues onto the back. Personally, I think it's a really good version of Korg. Of course, it's different to the one we saw last time, so you can't really compare it, but it is detailed once again, like we seem to be getting with all the Marvel figures right now. And that head mold is really well detailed, so it's another chance for you to get it if you didn't want to get the Bro Falls Asgard set last year. And then, of course, all the minifigures have accessories. So we have uh, the hammer, we also have Mjolnir, a sword, a little dagger. So there is all these accessories to add to the relevant figures, like for, we'll of course, get the axe and then Lady Fall the hammer. And here's all the five minifigures together you can see just how amazing these are so many people will be picking the set up just for the minifigures i think four and lady four and valkyrie are the strongest then korg and then the villain is probably the weakest out of the five but let's get on to the build so first up we start off with the two goats which make up the goat but these 
they were smaller than I was expecting given the artwork you can see how they're built they are quite a few pieces the main problem as you can see there is stability these things seem to fall over so easily you can see the joints are quite loose given the way that it's constructed so when you don't have them connected to the boat they're easily falling over you can see there there is some balance issues but nonetheless the first print is printed on the front which is a great touch I'm so glad that isn't a sticker so two exclusive prints to this set but they just seem to always fall over so i think the best way to have these is definitely attached to the goat boat which i'll show off in a moment how you should attach these onto the set but now if we actually have a look at the actual set you can see that how a minifigure will compare to them and there is some sticker details on the top of the goats which is shame it's not printed but i get that everything can't be printed so now if we actually move on to the goat boat itself you can see just how big this set is it surprised me how long this set obviously is and you can see a minifigure for scale with how big this set is the build was amazing to do it didn't feel hard at any points but it did feel quite varied you can see at the front now how you're going to be able to add the goats to the front so you can see the little technic hole in the middle you simply slot one onto the left and then one onto the right so these basically add stability to the goats so they're not going to keep falling over as they are indeed attached onto the goat ball and you can see how they look at the front and when you rise it up you are able to pause the goats in terms of the set itself there's some great uh, viking details at the front some stickers for new asgard cruises these heads at the top are easily pausable you can move them up and down together to have a different look for the set if you want to spice it up a little bit and that red strip goes throughout the set there's also some shield details on the side these are stickers sadly that roof is a really great design with a towel and stud mix up and then on the back that red strip continues the there's also some snakes at the top which look pretty good as well just all that little extra detail which contributes really well to the set so it's that same carbon copy on the other side as well so the shields and that red strip are continued you can see the goats at the front and how there isn't too much mobility with those but obviously later on i'll show you how them shield designs some really great stickers they would probably preferable to be prints as they were kind of hard to get on but there is some great designs with the blue and the red and the white you can see just how much space as well you have for minifigures it's a really good set and I think there is a lot of space to display with this one, a lot of play. There's a lot of thought going into this one on how you can basically do it. But if you have a look at the inside, you can see the roof does open up and inside there is a new Asgard map, also a bottle. And you can see just how they open up. So basically the bill and you basically slot them together and then you kind of have a crisscross design so it sticks in place. So a really easy way to open that one and get inside for the extra details. So a really easy function. And then on the other side, you can see maybe a fire extinguisher and also a staff. You can see some of the more details which is continued onto the back of the model and then like i said before the roof is made up of some great uh, mix of basic tiles and studs so you can pose minifigures on these for some action scenes if you wish to do so the only annoying thing is there is a little bit of a gap if you look from the top i know if you look at it from a side angle it doesn't look too bad but it's annoying because all the sides kind of look finished and then you have that gap at the top there's also a clip to put an accessory on the side which isn't too bad and it just looks like a good thing when you have a lot of minifigures it looks like a scene where you'd have a lot of action and then you can also see the new asgard sticker this one sadly a sticker but gives us a map design and then at the front you can see how it kind of looks if you add the goats to it a really great design you can see there is a golden thing which i feel like should have a sticker or print in maybe just to add some more detail but you can see it's a long technic pin which connects to the main body and you can just see how kind of long it is when you look at it this way you can see all the way through the goat ball as well at certain angles so i think overall it does look like a really good display model from most angles the only bad angle will be the back where you can see it's just made up of a lot of plates put together it would have been preferable for me personally maybe to have it look a bit smoother especially when you've got so many other parts of the model which look really smooth just like the roof here it looks finished and then the back maybe looks a little bit unfinished because of this and if you actually raise up the model you can see how the goats can be paused and how good the model looks in flight underneath it's really well done as well with the curves you can see that it's been curved off well and the goats are really easy to pause at the front that is a great way to do it you can basically have them fly and you can have them standing up it just looks really good you can see some more of that sticker design with the asgard no uh tours so it's going to be a bit of a plot detail and when you actually look at it from a distance away it's a really great dismay model when it is basically paused in this action pose you can see on the front and the goats the stable when they're connected into that front bit the minifigures also look really good you can fit plenty i'd say at least 10 minifigures in the front part then maybe five in the back if you've got a lot more of the characters you want to play with but yeah overall i love this set i would definitely recommend it to anyone looking out for the set is priced at $50 or £45 launches on April 26th. Comment down below if you're excited for this set. Are you not? Like the video, subscribe, and turn notifications for more LEGO videos and news videos. Which any other videos on screen now. I'm guys, keep clicking and breaking. I'll see you all later, guys. Bye bye.